When modeling in 3D, we all know that the best approach is to create clean topology with all quad meshes. But of course, if you need to create really complex hard surface meshes, this is extremely time consuming. But why is it that all quad topology is required anyway? Well, actually there's two reasons. The first is that if you're gonna subdivide your mesh into Catmull Clark, such as this mesh here, then having all quad topology is going to make that subdivision much smoother and more reliable. And the second reason is actually to do with shading. Because when you have a surface that's subdivided evenly into quads such as this one, each one of those quads has a surface normal. So if I select some quads here and zoom in, you'll see that there is a little line pointing straight up. And that is the surface normal, which tells the render engine exactly how light is reflected off that surface. So when you have these evenly distributed quads, you're going to end up with a very smooth looking surface. If I switch into Modo's reflection view, you'll see exactly what I mean. This mesh is really smooth. There's no shading glitches on it whatsoever. But what about Boolean modeling? Well, as I'm sure you know, this does not result in clean topology. So if I switch back into the regular GR mode and I switch to a similar cylinder that was modeled using Boolean techniques, you can see that we don't have the same kind of clean or quad topology. This cylinder is in fact capped by a single gigantic N-GON. And the problem with this is that it's going to result in shading errors. If I switch into Modo's reflection view, you'll see that the shading on this cylinder is really, really bad. And that's because this single N-GON simply does not provide enough data in terms of surface normals for the shading to be smooth. But the good news is that Modo has the tools to fix this problem. And so here I have created a copy of this Boolean mesh, and you can see that the shading is perfectly smooth. And this is a game changer because it allows you to create Boolean meshes that render just as cleanly as all quad ones, which in turn means that you can create really complex hard surface models in a fraction of the time. And of course, you can export these clean meshes to other applications. For example, I have a copy of this cylinder open in Blender, and as you can see, the shading is perfectly smooth. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through the entire process of modeling this corridor using Boolean techniques. And as you can see, the resulting meshes are going to render perfectly cleanly. And one big benefit of the approach that I'm gonna demonstrate is that it does not rely on the rounded edge shader to give you beveled edges. All of the beveled edges in the scene are actually modeled procedurally and they are part of the geometry of the mesh. And this means that you can create a really wide variety of different bevels, ranging from the very wide bevels we have on these wall panels, all the way down to the very slim bevels we have on these holes and everything in between. So this is a really flexible and powerful approach that allows you to create complex hard surface models really fast. So if you'd like to find out more, please join me in my new tutorial, Boolean Modeling in Modo.